Welcome everyone to the 2021 Reno Roundup. We are so thankful you've decided to spend your evening with us. We have a lot of really exciting things in store. My name is Katie Thacker. And I'm Carissa Eisman. And we are your hosts for tonight's event. Before we begin, we have a few mobile bidding reminders for you. Most of you are probably familiar with Qtego by now, but for tonight's virtual auction, we recommend you use two screens. We encourage you to be watching this on either your computer or your TV and use your smartphone to bid, look at raffle items, and for the fun to need later tonight. If you haven't already registered, you can do so at the link that is on your screen now. Once registered, you can view all live and silent auction items and begin bidding. I encourage you to set those max bids on any item you have your eye on. We also have a few raffle opportunities tonight, and you can check those out on the InstaBuy tab on Qtego. Remember, the funds raised through the wine poll are directly helping patients who have already maxed out their benefits for the year. We will be announcing the winners of the early registration shortly, the golden ticket winners throughout the live auction, and the raffle winners towards the end of the show. So stay with us. The silent auction will end at 10 p.m., so you'll have plenty of time to review your items and bid after we're done. So who's ready to find out who the winner of that $250 cash is? 187 of you registered before the end of January, and our winner is Janelle Vieira. Congratulations. Did you know that all funds raised tonight will be directly used to help cancer patients and their families battling cancer right here in Reno County? The Cancer Council provides a multitude of goods and services to the patients we serve. In fact, since 2015, CCRC has spent over one and a half million dollars on the specific needs of our patients. Needs such as gas cards and new tires on their vehicles so they can get to and from treatment, iPads so our youth patients can stay connected in their classrooms, microwaves so our patients can have warm meals, skincare treatment, dental assistance, grocery delivery, and so much more. Every dollar raised by the Cancer Council goes directly back to our patients and their needs. CCRC serves hundreds of patients of all ages every year. It is important to recognize that we would not be able to provide the support that we do to our patients without the support of our community. And that is why we're all here tonight. As we settle in for tonight's festivities, let us all remember why it is so important to support the Cancer Council. Hey everybody, we hope you're having a great time tonight at the Roundup and thank you for being a part of it. I'm Paul Erickson principal at Union Valley Elementary School. I'm a lifelong resident of uh, Hutchinson, Bueller area right here in Reno County. Uh, and by the way, this is our, our last day at school for Christmas, hence the reason I'm sporting these Christmas duds. Wanted to get that out of the way. All right, so my journey with the Cancer Council as a board member started five years ago when uh, Sandy Woodson and Bob Capps asked me to be a part of the board. I was thrilled. I had been to many, many roundups in the past and, and other fundraisers that the Cancer Council of Reno County had sponsored, had a blast, and it really admired their work. So to be a board member was a true honor. And with me being a lifelong educator, I can help fill a space as an education liaison where we can connect with schools and families and really ensure that families who have, who have children that are battling cancer understand that the Cancer Council of Reno County is here to help, here to support, and help them power through tough times. So that's been very rewarding. Sandy and I have met with the nurses. All of our, many of our schools in Reno County are blessed with nursing. And we've been able to connect with our nurses and really make them uh, spokespeople for the Cancer Council and what it can do for students who, who may be battling cancer. So it's been a very rewarding experience. We certainly appreciate all that you do to continue to help us do our work as a Cancer Council and as a board. So we hope you have a great time tonight. Thank you for joining us. My name is Lynn Harris and I've been on the Cancer Council Board of Reno County for the past three and a half years. I have helped with the Roundup for many, many years though. I can tell you that event has best become not only the time to gather and raise money for a great cause, but an annual ritual to get together with old friends and meet new ones. As the event grew, so did the Cancer Council of Reno County's impact to be such a valuable resource uh, to the people in our community. Uh, the memories that I have 
of so many years of the Roundup really involve my dad, Jim Hopengardner, and Jack Stout. Um, Jack and dad were good friends, and my dad had a company called Central Glass. Jack could be found there most days hanging out, chatting, or even painting on one of the big glass flop, big tables in the back of the shop. Um, Jack would donate a painting each year that seemed to be the big item for the live auction. And I just know that some of those paintings and the ideas were always discussed at the shop and what he was going to donate for the year all started right there with him and dad talking and messing around painting. Um, both of them have passed away now of cancer. And I think both men of having a lot of pride, uh, very modest, modest people with very generous hearts. And they were both the type that would rather give of their time and abilities to help others rather than be helped themselves. I do feel like that that's how a lot of people that have cancer and that are part of this um, organization also feel. The people in the organization, I think they give a lot of time and resources to make these events happen and to raise that money to be given to so many people and a lot of to for so many different people in our community i'm just so very proud of the time and effort that the board and the people that put on these events take on the time they put into it and the resources they put into it i am so appreciative of all that participate and donate I'm just proud to be associated with the Cancer Council of Reno County and just how they're such a blessing to so many patients and families in this community. The Cancer Council of Reno County gets to serve so many and the benefits are endless. Um, it's things that you might not even think about as a donor or a supporter, but it provides our patients and our cancer survivors um, a community and opportunity they might not know otherwise. One of my favorite memories about the Cancer Council and serving alongside them is last year's Roundup. In a room full of about 700 people with volunteers and board members, committee members, etc. Um, the MC asked people to start standing if you are a cancer survivor, if you're currently battling cancer, if you have a family member that's been diagnosed with cancer, if you've been affected by it at all. And as you may guess, in a few seconds, the entire room was standing. And the, it was a beautiful picture of the impact that cancer has on individuals, but as a community. And, um, you know, it's not prejudice and it's not biased. And so the fact that here in Reno County, we have an organization that will walk alongside and provide a built-in community for these people battling cancer um, is truly something special. I'm honored to get to be a part of it. My name is Katie Thacker, and I serve on the board for the Cancer Council of Reno County. The Cancer Council is near and dear to my heart for a lot of reasons. Um, I've been involved for four years and served on a lot of subcommittees and a lot of event planning. Um, but prior to my involvement as a board member, my family actually received benefit from the Cancer Council when my dad was undergoing um, treatment for leukemia. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was 2015 and we were at the Roundup and my dad was the guest speaker that year. He was on stage and he was sharing his story about how the Cancer Council had helped him. And I remember listening to him on the stage and um, finding Sandy across the room and connecting all the dots. It was that moment that I realized the totality of how the Cancer Council had stepped in and helped him um, in a time where he needed it the most. And he always had said in side conversations that Sandy had taken care of him or Sandy had helped him with this and I never asked questions um, 
because it usually had to do with money. Um, but that evening, listening to him and remembering some of the things that he said, um, it really, really dawned on me that this organization was special and had helped him in ways that no one else could. And so, um, flash forward a year later, um, my dad's leukemia came back, and this time it was uh, a lot more aggressive. He had to have another bone marrow transplant, um, which required him to be in Kansas City. Um, and that transplant took place the Monday after my wedding. And um, that was the last time that he was healthy and happy and dancing. And those are the, the memories that we have with him. Um, he went to Kansas City the Tuesday after our wedding, had a bone marrow transplant, and um, ended up losing his life four months later. Um, I wish I could say all of the things that the Cancer Council did for our family during that time. Um, lodging assistance, um, transportation, mileage, prescription assistance, um, socks to keep his feet warm. Um, knowing that as a patient family and seeing that side of things and now serving on a board with other individuals in the community who believe in the mission, um, it's really full circle for me um, because of the way that we are able to carefully and personally um, assist our patients. And so when people call us, they're in a crisis situation and we're able to help put wheels on their car and microwaves in their homes so they can have warm meals. Um, it's, it's truly remarkable. And it's an organization that I feel very called to. And um, that's our story. Good evening. My name is Mark Keaton, and I serve as CCRC board president. On behalf of the CCRC board and the patients we serve, I would like to thank the following for their tireless efforts to make tonight's event a success. To the Roundup sponsors and donors, CCRC and our patients, thank you for your generosity and support. To the Roundup committee members, thank you for all you did to execute on the mission of serving our patients. The work that you did is part of the secret sauce that makes CCRC so special. To the CCRC board members, thank you for your time, talent, and treasure to make the CCRC one of the premier charity organizations in the region. And to Carissa and Alex Eisman for the behind the scenes work that brought you the virtual aspects of the event, including the mobile bidding experience in partnership with Cutego. And of course, tonight's event would not have happened without the efforts of Katie Thacker. From corporate fundraising to logistics to her leadership of the committee members, she has worn so many hats to deliver tonight's event. Thank you very much. We know tonight would not be possible without the generosity and support of our sponsors. Midway Motors is the presenting sponsor for tonight's auction, and we are truly so thankful for their support of CCRC year after year. In fact, tonight marks, marks the sixth year in a row of Midway Motors being our presenting sponsor, which means they have spent over $60,000 giving back to CCRC. vehicles and their needs through every mile of life but the important thing to us is that we have five pillars of our business three of those pillars are family community and customers and I think we can all agree that, that this disease has affected all of those people and it is very important to us to to contribute to that and I feel like I, I believe this is the sixth year that we've been involved with this I feel like every year it becomes more relevant within the community and it also gives us, especially now with everything going on, everybody takes time for granted and friends for granted and, and customers for granted. 
And this gives us an opportunity to get together and do something together for a good cause. So we feel it's, 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 it's one of the things that we can do and, and the most important thing we can do right now. So we just appreciate the opportunity and look forward to it. recognize and thank our premier sponsors for their generosities. Hi, I'm Troy Hutton. I'm the CEO of First National Bank in Hutchison. We as a bank feel like it's extremely important to give back to the community. Uh, made a conscious effort, even in these difficult times, to continue to support what we feel are worthy causes. Uh, one of the wor worthy causes that we feel passionate about is the Cancer Council. Uh, we've chosen year after year to support it because we see the important work that they do. Well, we feel the Council does important work and we've seen firsthand uh, the support that they give. Uh, to people affected by cancer, many of those uh, have been uh, customers, friends, and family. We also know that the funds stay here in Reno County, and uh, we've seen uh, the, all the good that those funds do. First National Bank is honored to continue to support the Reno Roundup, and we sincerely appreciate all the good work that the council does for local residents. The Cancer Council of Reno County is truly thankful for the support we've received for not only this event, but all throughout the past year. In such unprecedented times, we have been humbled by the countless donations, random acts of kindness, and persistence of those who believe in our mission. We would also like to thank those who serve on CCRC's Board of Directors, and also our 2021 Reno Roundup Committee members who have made this virtual auction a true jubilee. Also, thank you to Alex Eisman with Eisman Design for the production of tonight's events. It takes a village, and we are so thankful for the individuals whom we are lucky enough to call ours. Before we begin our live auction, just a reminder to set those max bids on any silent auction items to ensure that you don't miss out. During the live auction, you will notice a new countdown on Qtego. This ensures that no matter where you are or what lag you may be experiencing, Everyone will be on the same page and have the same opportunity to bid on each item. A big thank you to Travis and Alexis Rodenbaugh with American Family Insurance for sponsoring the mobile bidding software. We couldn't do it without you.